Mon amour, tu viens Un attimo, Ivan. She's not here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I will introduce you, Francois de Closé. She's my pianist, but also very, very lucky. She's my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. become a musician. Mom was a lawyer or a doctor. So calling that man, asking to this musician, you know, her my doctor, I want you to understand if there is talent or not. Francois played the piece for this man. And that man told to the mom, now her left hand is much better than mine. Not true, but that man was Oscar Peters. So, Francoise will play for you now the pieces she played for that man at that the moment. Oscar Peterson, Boogie Boogie. Bado.
program. Uh, we will play uh, from uh, Tommaso Albinoni, Adagio. Uh, you know that this piece is not at all from Tommaso Albinoni, but this is the, 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 the strange things in Italy, you know. It's a transcription of just nothing, but it's very well known all over the world.
much. I would like to say to you that, um, of course, is a, is a choice, is a special experiment to play with somebody uh, are so far away from you, like that, I think uh, 900 kilometers. But you know, at the beginning it's difficult to believe. But it's a joy because it's, it's a surprise. How could be very easy? Of course, we have to experiment this. We have to experiment because as you heard in some moments, we are not together because we don't think about that fact. It's not really exactly how like Francoise could be, he, he is, is here like me. It's not, it is, this is true. But the advantage, advantage, advantage are so great that I'm very, very happy to, to be in this moment with you and Francoise in this kind of uh, travel on the moon. I think you can understand what I mean. So, uh, about the, the, the choice of the pieces. I chose this kind of pieces because any, any one of them, there is different difficult to play together with somebody is not here. The next, I would like to play for you um, the, the La Reine de la Nuit from, from Mozart. Now, this other difficult because the tempo is very fast and everything like Mozart is must be so perfect together that is a challenge just to think about that you can play in the really good tempo this piece. This is for uh, what, 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 because I, 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 I would like to play this and uh, try to play in the best way. I think can we have to be really together, not only easy like Francois is here, but in the mind, in the mind. And this is a challenge that we like very much.
thank you very much. Now, we will play once more a very difficult passage where in that moment we were not so perfect together. You will see um, why I, I do that. Because it's very easy to change. It's very easy to change. You know, baby? Sì, una battuta prima. Pa, fa la frase prima. Pam 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 pim pa. Sarata. Because there was just a little difference between us and so. Okay, now is the second time. You will see. I try, huh? We did a rehearsal before the concert. But you know, the acoustic situation changed so much because you, so it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what's up? We make a short break. Oh, thank you. So you can rest a little bit. Short break for me is perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Another transcription from Vivaldi, the Concerto Winter, the second movement. Of course, we very, very hot. It's very hot. It's very difficult. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the choice of other pieces. <laughs> oh, yes. Excuse me. A precision. In this piece, uh, we play the first note together. It was not the case of the other pieces. Here we are together. So, Francoise, uh, th there is a monitor, there is a television here, I can, I can hear. So we can experiment it in front of you if that could be possible to play the first note really together. We will try. If we are not together, we stop. We will try again. <laughs> Very easy like that. Eh? <laughs>
I hope that you enjoy this, my comments after. It's not usual, it's not common, because you can imagine, we play a concert, we play a piece, everything. I tell you, I tell you the audience, what are the mistakes, what are the good things. Wow. <laughs> this is to be a change. In any case, I think the first note, we were really together on my hair. Yes. Did you hear this? Yes. And you know what was the, 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 the worst, so I mean the, the most difficult moment? The, uh, the bar when I played in the echo. Because, because they did. But we don't play again once more because I think in my mind it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next piece. Oh, oh, now. Bizet, Georges Bizet. Agnus Day. This is another model. Not, not at all uh, in, the, in, the, in the kind of uh, rhythmic idea from the Baroque. Now we are in the romantic idea, <laughs> opera. So it's very different because normally, normally the tenor have to play somewhere before the orchestra or before the piano. This is because it chose this piece. So we have to, to imagine that is the tenor, the king of the situation, me, and we uh, have to be always a little bit before the piano. Let me find a new one. Yeah. Of course, there is a beautiful introduction by Francois.
Ennio uh, Morricone, a composer for the cinema, which I uh, worked for him for more than 80, 18 years, uh, transcribed uh, the version of the Gabriel's Oboe from the movie Mission by Roland Joff for the piccolo trumpet. So we will try to play this for you. Was here and you have the sounds from there and but I see Francois just here and the sound from here so it could be very easy I invite you or everyone playing music to try these things to try Lola. really is a joy not only because it's an experiment 
In my mind, it's more than this. I think could be the, as an instrumentalist, could be the beginning of a new future. And very differently uh, from others, beginning story, beginning techniques, this is a beginning of the future, very, very interesting and based of the human mind. The technique is just the things that we need for help in this situation. But in any case, I would like to uh, communicate this fact which is in our mind, that if we don't are very ready, very ready, very clear in our mind to play together in, from 900 kilometers one of others is very difficult, but it's very possible if you are in the mind on the idea on this kind of beautiful future. Um, now we have another, uh, you know, water music, another transcription. Very sorry, I mean, um, would like to play three movements of this very, very, very long number suite. So we will try travel, uh, come, uh, coming, play, uh, the, what was, tell me what? Okay, so speak to the people, there is audience waiting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Allora, cosa suoniamo adesso? Allora, con la purée, il menuè e il ghetto. Ah, eccola, thank you.
CD where Francois record Novo Cinema Paradiso by Andrea, which is the true composer of the piece, eh? and Andrea dedicated to Francois this piece. So please, uh, you, will, you will hear this marvelous piece in the form of concerto. Anyone, Andrea, record Novo Cinema Paradiso.
Portugal, Napoli, uh, uh, we had Francesco and me many collaboration of a great like, artist named Lucio Dalla. Lucio Dalla was uh, one of the marvelous of the music. It's a very, very simple song named Caruso. And uh, he wrote a very simple, very simple version for my prophet and Francois.
Yes, I, I use the, the microphone for voice. Well, first of all, we also have somebody else to thank, of course, because as you've seen, there are cameras over there, and probably already on Monday, the full recording of what you've seen will be available online, at, in, full, in full quality and so on. And for this one, we need to thank the multimedia group of the University of Naples, which were very helpful during the last two weeks to make this happen. A number of them is even down there, they can't come because they're still recording, but I wish you a big applause for them. <laughs> You've simply managed to do it. Uh, the network in the weekends is like the airport at night. You believe that the airport are better because people are not flying, but the car was not flying. It's the same. This afternoon, the network was not empty, it was full of cargo. And my map over there was flashing red a number of times. But you just need a little bit to say, we need a lane for music. And my colleague did it this afternoon. So we, had, we were together with the cargo. But if you're happy, no. It was perfect and, and, and worked. So, my conclusion is we are still experimenting, like Mao said a number of times, but this is something that we can also do for real stuff. If we need to do lessons or we need to do real concerts, like we try to do this today for the first time, we can try. Uh, the system is in evolution, it's going to be ready also for color and so on. It's going to be on stage a number of times this, this, this month. Today was here in Naples. On Tuesday, it will be between London and Edinburgh in Scotland, another concert. Then it will be again at the end of the month between Trieste, Venice and Ljubljana. My friends from Ljubljana are in Trieste today to, to see how it works and make it happen again. And then it will go again to the United States on October 2nd. We will make another concert between Philadelphia and Chicago. Again, a couple of our, our, our string uh, instrument, uh, a cello and the violin will be played together. And so on. So, we are going forward, but of course, it is ready for you to try and to make this change. Without you, it doesn't exist, because you are the ones which want it. So, thank you for coming. Thank you for everybody. Thank you to Jeremy for willing this together, because he asked for it and we said, yes, we will do it. And enjoy the rest of the conference. See you next time. Thank you. Sì, prego. Aperto.